Pisces. Welcome, it's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for August 5th all the way to August 11th, so welcome, Pisces. How's things going? I hope things are going good. I really do. I really and truly do. So let's do some astrology, shall we, before we start? Because I like doing this because it kind of lays the foundation for what's going on here. You know, and then we let the cards out and it just spells out everything we just talked about. So I like that. I like how it goes with the flow. That's what we do here, folks. All right. Now, August 4th, we're under a Leo new moon. Enjoy the summer. It's a new beginning for you. And it is in your eighth house of healing, spirituality, life and death, pondering, uh, you know, could also be dialing down debt, all of that but it's, it's the house of healing. It's the house of everything, really. You know, the things that we don't talk about that much. You know, dinner table conversations don't happen in eighth, eighth house issues. You know what I mean? These are something that are done on a personal level, you know? Um, so you got a new opportunity to do some healing. And with that Leo new moon, it has to do with heart energy. That's what Leo uh, represents is the heart. So it's letting go of hurts, past disappointments, anything like that, and healing that part of yourself that that sabotages your self-esteem because it's opposite the second house of self-worth. So it's you healing your worth and knowing your worth and allowing that. Now, the next day, August 5th, Mercury, the planet of communication, goes retrograde until August 28th. So the whole month is going to be a review time for you, an excellent time to get some healing done, okay? Now, a couple other things. Of course, I have personal readings available. That's in the description. So if you can make a one-to-one reading, if you're in the area, fantastic. If you want to do one on Zoom because you're somewhere else on the planet, fantastic. But what I also have available, if you don't want any of those options, I got this one. Now I'm offering a 15-minute Ask a Question reading. So... The link is in the description, of course. It brings you to all of those options. And you fill out the form, ask your question, and then, you know, you pay for it, of course. And then I respond within one to two business days or days. And I'm going to say business days because every I work every day. So usually a one to two day turnaround, you'll get a link to a private unlisted YouTube uh, video that only you can see because you only have that link and that answers your question. And I've tested it out this a few times this week and it's, it's fantastic. You got to try it. And it's at a good price too. I've, I've seen other tarot readers on YouTube and their prices. And I'm like, what? but that's okay. All right, let's get your energy Pisces. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let's see anything else. There it is. The sun popped out. Yay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Do you have, if any of you guys watch Interview with a Vampire, oh my God, season three trailer came out with Lestat as a rock star. Oh my God. I'm infatuated with that. I love it. Let me know in the comments if you like it too, because. <laughs> It's really fucking good. All right, how are we doing this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I love it. All right, universe, how do I do this? Well, of course that's going over there. Of course that's going over there. I think that's over here. Um, yeah. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? 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 Okay, that goes in the middle. See how that works? And then boom. God damn. Pisces. <laughs> Word. This is a great month for you. I'll tell you that right now. With the eight of pentacles in the middle, you're putting in the work. You're starting to do some planning. You're getting this shit done. However, let's work on this first. Five of wands, seven of swords. Okay, first we're going to talk about these two cards. Because these two cards are motherfuckers right here. All right? You don't need to compete. You don't need to fight. You don't need to get involved in anybody's drama. You just don't need to. 
You don't fight for change, you surrender to it. Seven of Swords don't feel like you've been robbed of time, money, energy, or anything like that. It's a time to be strategic. Ten of Swords is you moving on. You've got to have your thoughts work with you. Don't get... the. This almost looks like a card of distraction. You know, like it wants to distract you. Don't allow it. Now, what you need to embrace is the sun. Shine as brightly as the sun. You just keep doing you, boo. Eight of Pentacles, Eighth House Issues... Do the, put in the work, do some healing. Queen of Pentacles, I deserve this. I'm stable, I'm secure, I'm grounded. I'm making this happen. Focus on balance instead of imbalance, instead of this. Now, you might be partnering with somebody, which will be very successful and very stable. So it looks like a job offer is coming in here that you put in the work and boom, it pays off. It could be about a relationship. You're finally getting rid of the drama and all of that issues, those mental issues, and then all of a sudden you're starting to put the work in, you're focusing on balance, and boom, this relationship, a long, I mean, very stable relationship. Fantastic. Let's get some oracles. Ooh, 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 uh, uh. I like it because he almost sounds like the 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 uh, the count from Sesame Street. Ooh ooh ooh! Uh, uh. One two three bananas! Oh oh oh! I don't know. I just I have that fucking song in my head all day, and it's a fucking banger. You got to listen to it. Okay, I don't know why, because it's it's really a horrible song, but it's great. <laughs> If it's designed that way. All right, conflict and defeat. Get out of that. It's time to work on that. How, Jeff? You transform. You'll transform because of this. How, Jeff? Take your power back. Really? Take my power back? Yes, take your power back. But but I don't... You got to be patient. Okay, all right, okay, all right. And you got to work on them heart issues. Ooh, remember I was talking about that. And I'm not talking about like heart health issues. You may have that. So cayenne pepper will solve that problem. Trust me. But what you need to do is work on loving yourself, opening your heart to possibilities. And then look at that. Nine of cups, fulfillment of wishes and triumph. I mean, come on, folks. It don't take a weatherman to look around and see the weather. Looks like Pisces got to get their shit together. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're doing it. So, you know, do it. Just do it. You know, but it's it's wonderful. Looks like a lot of things opening up. And there's definitely something here about a relationship. I mean, oof. Oh, my God. Yeah. New Vitality, Ace of Wands. Going with the flow. Yeah, baby. And love. Okay. Yep, there's... Mm -hmm. Wow. Pisces. If you're single, you're not gonna be for long. And it's gonna be good. Pisces, if you're in a relationship, shit's about to get real good. Anything else for love? We really don't really don't need a big story here because we've already got it oh my effing god okay set yourself free maybe this is an unconventional relationship that you're thinking about and you're worried about everybody fucking judging you fuck them take action maybe you got something to say queen of pentacles energy again this is just going with the flow that's being confident and then looking at looking look, looking at this i knew the ten of cups wanted to come out in the first deck but it came out here Again, good times had by all. Stop focusing on this. It's part of your process to accept that. But look at this. Pay attention to 10, 10, 10, 11, 11. Tens, 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 tens. The world, you're completing a cycle and the wheel of fortune. Destiny is at work here. Oof, this is a good reading. This is a really good reading. Okay. Let's get some messages of love. 
Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay, set yourself free from that. Allow abundance to come into your life. Don't let finances get in the way. You know, and that's, that's you know, 80% of why couples break up is because of money. My money, your money. It's not a me thing. It's a we thing. You know what I mean? And don't be offended if they want to keep finances separate. Just look at all the tens here. Ten. Ten. 10, 10, 10. Payoffs, baby. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. That's you with this new moon getting an opportunity to finally heal this. Maybe just getting out of a debt mentality will give you new vitality. You just have to be patient with your process. Soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accept, accepts, and respects you. There ain't no doubt about that. Ain't no doubt about it. Oh, God, I hate music. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. Ugh. Ugh. What a weird song. You know, I, you know, uh, the, it, heaven by the dashboard lights. I remember being a little kid in my mother's Impala. <laughs> Hearing that song and being horrified by it. Like, what is going on here? I had no idea what they were talking about. And then I and then I would see a picture of, first of all, you know, the singer was Meatloaf. So when you're a little kid, you really got this, this image of what Meatloaf would look like. And then you see the picture of this bulbous, sweating, long-haired freak. <laughs> singing this song it was crazy oh it was just you know scary all right i don't know but there's no doubt about it there's payoffs coming here okay manifest pisces you're always manifesting whether you're aware of it or not manifestation is based on your thoughts and you're being asked to manifest consciously through positive thinking so you'll attract into your life exactly what you're wanting looks like it's gonna happen but you got to be fucking on board on this. And if you're not, you have to heal that part of yourself that is stopping you from doing that. Because it's not the world. It's not the universe. It's you. So once you accept that, things flow, baby. You just got to trust the universe. And whatever this is, this relationship, it's sweet like a juicy peach. That's all I can describe it. Mmm. You know how sweet and juicy a nice peach is? You know, it's like running down your chin and, you know, your neck and your neck gets all sticky. <laughs> it's kind of erotic if you think about it, but manifest that. Get yourself a good peach. All right, Pisces, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I manifest my dreams in the comments and I will see you next week. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.